John, um, you're a poet, and I'd love to hear some of your poetry. This is about PTSD and the Combat Paper Project. Mm -hmm. And uh, the title of the poem is called PTSD. With the fibers torn, our memories of gun battle, where bullets scream Allah, and the deafening songs of explosion dance where human flesh once stood. There have been nightmares that had made more sense, but when dream is reality, clarity is not apparent and the gunpowder sacred to our veins is by all means the means of expression when true meaning is burnt crisp and the screams fending for themselves are still alone in the desert. Mm. When a veteran returns from the horrors of war, they're a different person, obviously, from a, a poem like that expresses some of that. How, what, what do you share with your other veteran friends about coming back, and how do you help families support you in that return? You always know when someone's freshly back. Um, and it's funny because uh, my partner and I, when we go down the street, like I can, I can literally just point out people and say, they just got back, they've been back. They were in a while ago, they're in, but they've never been over. It's like, you can, you can, see, you can see it. Um, and especially if you go out uh, on Fridays or Saturday nights at the bars, you can tell the difference. Um, when I first came home, I was a wreck and I was kicked out of bars, um, pulled knives on people. It's just, it's, it was bad. It, it got ugly. And uh, luckily, I was single at the time. You know, um, I've, I've had friends who have, uh, in their sleep, um, been violent mm -hmm. and. You know, it's, it's, it's scary, it's scary, it's really scary. Um, and for someone who's been waiting patiently at home, the only thing I can say is be patient and give nothing but love, no matter what, because the person that left you at home is not the same as they were. What turned you around? You're a very peaceful guy now. I try to be. You know, I still struggle with it. Um, I, I just, I opened my heart. You know, I, there was a series of cracks in it, um, just shedding that unnecessary armor that was giving it like a death clamp, um, which is by no means life-giving. And um, I just started to question and think and was very willing to find something that would make me feel good and to make me feel loved. And, you know, and that goes for anyone. It's not, it's not reconciling the things that I went through. It's, it's in, 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 the, in its entirety, it's, it's for the greater good of all beings and for the earth. Um, we, as humans, need to focus more on loving emotions and not hateful ones. Well, clearly you've, you found something there. Thank you so much, John. Thank you.